Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. And um, before we get started, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. It'll really help my business and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Okay, so today's video um, is something that I did a really long time ago. I, I literally can't even remember when I did this, but it was a good few years ago. Um, and I came across the videos the other day and I just thought it would be quite cool to put these together um and show you guys so this was originally like 14 separate videos and i've um condensed them down into two parts basically so this is part one um then obviously part two will follow in a couple of days so these are mixed media tags um so basically um what i'm going to be doing is what you can see on the screen there so i have die cut a bunch of um sort of Halloween type dies and then um, I'm just kind of I've chopped up some bases um, and now I'm just gluing them on with a um, I think I can just see it in the corner there it's it's oh it's my uh, matte medium glue uh, which is basically what I now use to hold my handle when I'm melting wax <laughs> um, so this is just an example of how old this is um, also, I'm just kind of like working on a really old, it's like a Spider-Man towel, I think it is. Um, and I use that for when I'm messing about with inks or brush o powders or watercolour type things. Um, and then obviously just wash that by itself in the washing machine. Um, so basically what I've done, um, so I have lost the very first video. So there was actually 15 videos, but... Um, I lost the first one and basically all the first one is is exactly what I'm doing on the screen right now but with another set uh, of six tags which I will bring on the screen uh, a little bit later on in this video. Um, so basically what the plan is here is to get these die cuts, glue them onto the tag bases and then what I'll then be doing is using brush o powder to add some colour to these tags. Um, so these tag bases are actually from a set of um, like silver card that I didn't really know what to do with. Um, my friend gifted them to me because her father-in-law um, kind of works somewhere that produces a lot of these like silver backed cards and um, so I'm using the back of these um because I don't really know how to use the silver side um though since um these videos I have had like a few kind of ideas as to what I could do with them um but basically what I did was I made loads and loads and loads of tag bases out of them and then what I tend to do is back them with um just like tea dyed paper or something like that um, and then use them as tags so essentially I'm not really making use of the actual silver side um, which is kind of holographic as well on some of them um, but more just kind of using them because they're a really sturdy piece of card to be honest. Um, so when I've edited these videos um, I've tried to sort of cut them down massively because there is a lot of um, procrastination in these videos where I'm trying to decide where I'm putting things rather than just kind of slapping them down and stuff like that um so this is basically my much more shortened version of these tags um when I did this I think this is maybe the first proper time that I was using brush o powders um and things like that so the techniques that I'm using are probably not the best kind of techniques, but um, see these were these tags here. These are the other uh, six tags that I was making. Um, so these are the, the making these was literally just putting the die cuts on, um, and I've just kind of lost that part of it. I don't know why. Well, I haven't lost it. It just won't play <laughs> on my iPad for some reason. Um, so what I've just done there is I've used the brush o powders and what I'm trying to do is just kind of figure out the best way to get these colours to stay on because obviously you can see right there when I'm um, spraying the water on I'm only putting like a little bit of these brush o powders so they're just like tiny little pots um, and then I use the spatula to take a little bit out 
shake it onto the card and then I'm using water to spray it and that activates the powder and then I use the brush to just try and um, sort of move it move the powders a little bit especially in between the dyes um, because sometimes it's a little bit difficult to kind of see uh, exactly where the, where the colour is kind of thing <laughs> and it's just to make sure that there is actually colour all over the place. Um, so I am really liking the vibrant colours. Um, so then I realised that maybe instead of dabbing them with the towel, I could use the heat gun. Um, I have like cut out all the drying so you can see where I bring the heat gun in. Um, but I don't kind of leave that in the video because I mean, I'm just drying it. You see that that was like a super fast transformation. Um, so I'm trying to keep the vibrant colours, but I'm also trying to use more than one different colour on these. So like you see that gorgeous orange that I've just painted on there um, and I'm just trying to add some kind of different layers and stuff like that unfortunately it doesn't always work out exactly how I want and I think some of these maybe turned out a little bit more grungy than I would have liked so I really like how vibrant that color is but I dry it and then it like fades kind of thing um, so now I'm trying to sort of add a bit more of a darker element so all of these tags are intended to be quite dark but I also kind of wanted them to be really vibrant and things see that's now become brown because I added far too much black over the orange um but to be fair I still quite like it I still think it's a pretty cool tag um and then here I'm just trying to use like the different colors so the technique that I'm using to apply the brush -o, um, is actually not the best technique um, that I've since found. So basically what I do with my brush -o, um pots, so you can just see them on the left side of the screen, um, they're really, really small little pots and no bigger than sort of like a, a cotton spool. Um, and instead of, um, so around each lid, there's like a little plastic, um, like a, you know when you, you pull something off a package to open it, it's one of those. Um, so it's best to kind of keep that on. This is just for like if you guys are going to buy um, brush -o powders. Um, it's best to keep that on so that the, the pot stays completely solidly closed. And then if you get a little push pin, so the ones that you push into like a cork board or something like that, so not the ones that are completely flat like a, is that a drawing pin? Um, but they're ones that have got like the little plastic handly bit at the top and then just literally push that into the center of the pot um, and then all you do is when you're ready to use it pull the pin out and then tap it on like you're tapping some pepper on a plate um, and then it just gets out just a small amount and it makes sure that the that you don't get any moisture or anything like that into the pot because if you see I'm using this spatula that's on the left well, that's just disappeared <laughs> while well, it's there now in my hand um but I'm using this spatula and what might happen is I could end up getting a bit of water on that and then when I'm putting that into the brush pot it could end up activating the powder in the pot which you definitely don't want to happen um so basically the best thing really is is like I say don't kind of open the pots at all just literally put a pin in there um, and then I also write on the lid as well what colours they are so I can see from top down because um, I think they are written on the side of the pot um, but yeah um, that is my tip for using brush -o powders um, I don't actually bring these on screen unfortunately at any point but um, I could show you in a different video the, the brush -o powders um, if I can find them. <laughs> they are in my craft room somewhere but I've not done anything like this for a while but to be honest this has inspired me to do something like this because when I made these tags I actually just didn't want to use them. Oh you might have just seen there on the back the holographic silver um, so that's kind of what's on the back of all of these. Um, but yeah, so when I made these tags, I was just so in love with them. I just didn't want to kind of use them. And I've, I have used them a little bit here and there in one or two projects, but I've still got loads of them left. Um, I'll say loads, there's 12. So <laughs> I've probably given away maybe like three or four and I've still got the rest of them. So I think what I might do is um, make a load and I'll do that with you guys as well. Um, 
just for a little bit of like a craft with me type thing um and I think it's just fun to just do different things with tags because you know you can get all these digital tags and stuff like that which are really cool because they've got all these patterns on and stuff but I think when you're making something that's a little bit mixed media -y, where it's got a bit more texture I think it just adds a little bit more interest and things like that when you're doing a, a junk journal um so I am definitely just yammering on because <laughs> um, I've not really done a full video voiceover before um, and it's uh, it's kind of pressurised <laughs> really because like I don't want to just leave this as like silence whilst you're listening but I also don't want to just kind of play music over this one um, just because it's I feel like it's not you know it's not completely a tutorial oh look at that colour that's such a cool colour um, but yeah, it's, it's not like completely a tutorial, but I mean, if you guys haven't seen this kind of thing before, then, um, you know, it's good to kind of know what I was doing and how I did it. But obviously, I am kind of doing the same thing across 12 different tags. Um, so it is a little bit repetitive, but the reason why I've kept all of them in, because um, I was thinking to maybe just kind of like chop it right down, which I do more of in the part two video um it's just because you know these are all different colors and these are different um maybe like a different method you know using brush o powder i feel like it's not a super common method that's used um and i just thought it'd be pretty cool so you can actually see what it looks like as i'm doing each one and how i've achieved the colors that i've got to using them so you can see that obviously like I do apply two different colours to each tag to try and incorporate different colours in there. Um, but sometimes, especially because I'm doing this brushing technique, it does kind of merge the colours together. So it doesn't always hit the desired effect because um, I've added a bit of pink there and it doesn't really stay on that well. It is, you know, it's kind of there, but um, th I think this is why maybe I don't use brush -o quite so often um just because as cool as it looks when you spray it it just kind of fades like look how cool that looks that's really vibrant and bright but once I've kind of sprayed it and added different colors and things like that um it just kind of fades quite dramatically um like that one I've I have just left to try and kind of dry by itself to see if that helps the process rather than actually drying it with a heat tool um so yeah <laughs> um it, yeah it's, it's an interesting technique and it is fun it's definitely fun to do and if you've got a towel or um a non-stick mat or a heat mat or anything like that that you don't mind kind of getting dirty um then definitely give this a go because it's fun and also what i'm doing i don't know if you've noticed is i do spray the brush before i use it on the next tag um just to make sure i'm not kind of like bringing the color across so i spray the brush and then because it's a towel I'm wiping it onto the actual towel to just kind of um keep it clean for the next one but we are now approaching the end of this video um so I hope that you've enjoyed watching this first part of these mixed media tags and I hope you'll join me for part two where I will do quite a quite a bit more work on these so um hopefully you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me a thumbs up um i'd really appreciate it and like i say if you're not already a subscriber please do hit that subscribe button because it'll really help me out all right thanks guys see you next time bye